<laughs> hey man, say man. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's the sweat drippings. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Stuck in the Middle podcast where you know it's up and it's stuck. <gasps> weekly, weekly, Very weekly, weekly. But you know, I don't do nothing without addressing the most obvious thing on the board, and that is I need you to plus one on every single plat. When you get to YouTube, make sure you double punch. When you do that, you're going to subscribe, which means you get all the new content. Even if we go live, we drop a new short, drop a new long format video, any clips. You get it first, and you get to meet us. You know, keep the fan with me. What up? It's Hire Ed Fred. I'm in the building. Hey, we, we're not Coach F no more. We hired Fred. Uh, Coach Ref F. Hef. Coach F. Is, Ref yeah, it's oh, yeah, Ref, Ref Hef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ref Hef. I'll keep Ref telling you this. The listen. other job is listen. starting. You should hold on to your titles for a little bit longer and change your handles as you go. From now on until you change your next handle, you should be Ref Hef. Oh, they don't have a time limit? But I'm always hiring Instagram Fred. gives you what? A couple, what is it? A couple, a couple days? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Until, but then look, if you get famous enough, somebody going to come behind and steal the other ones back. Right. Yeah, yeah, nah, bro, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, you set right. up like six, slow down, slow down. six different pages to keep swapping. Say, hey, man, affiliate <laughs> <That's> marketing. <true. laughs> but, uh, <laughs> be what cooks we locked in. Uh, Resident Unicorn, you know how I do. Corey from Corey's Corner. I don't know where the hell Pepe is. Pepe. Perito. Hey. Y'all know I'm where he at, man. Yeah, he's That's where he is. Yep, he yep. in there waiting to get a piece of ham or something. <laughs> <laughs> it crazy. is smelling scrum deliumptious in here. He in there making them Costco nuggets, boy. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, hey uh, boy, uh, say Costco that. You talking about the plastic bag? bag? <laughs> oh, my. Hey, let's Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A count your days. What facts? Because all you got to do is go get the Chick-fil-A sauce. And I have a and I have a resident expert, my five-year-old. I have a resident expert. He he's a Chick Fil A head. Boy. Yes. So when I tell you, I put them in front of him, and he hits them harder than he hits them new them Chick Fil A nuggets. Watch out, Chick Fil A. And he, he smells everything. He so got a gas or pass. When he get older, no, they're pretty good. When he get older, you got to graduate them to the great values. Oh, yeah, great value. Yeah, the great great value boys are crazy. The great value. The tenders, tenders are crazy. <laughs> them tenders are top notch. That's what I'm talking about. When he's top notch. ready, graduate them to them tenders, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's ready. He's and they ready. cheap too. Hey, what's the best? What's the best fast food restaurant? What? Come on, bro. Oh, boy, no, you got to do a genre, yeah, too, bro. You no, no, no. I'm saying yeah. in general, well, and it could be off of... What's it saying? It's not possible. In it's not possible. You got to give me no, some genre. What's, what's, or just period? Uh, top tier. I was going to just go top tier. Top tier, you can only have three in your top tier. If we consider Wingstop one, well, I'm going to say Wingstop for me. Okay. Oh, so national? Yeah, you can go national, only three in the top tier. Jack in the Box, bro. Jack in the Box, Jack on Box. That's top tier? Yes. It's so universal, bro. Yeah, we're not going to have a It's not about... Here's why I say Jack in the Box top tier. What's tier, though? Quality. Or like quality, like, quantity, like is quality this like, wise, I, then I would be Jack and Mid. Is this like um, access? Is this like Family Feud where they're quizzing a hundred people and you gotta really think about the hundred people, or is this like your personal? No, this is personal. Uh, wait, first off, it's personal. Uh, pump the brakes on on the slander of Jack in the Box. Yeah. Bro. No, I mean, no, no, they hard. Look, but you say quality, but like yeah, come on, like it's good box? food. It's it's hard. Hard. You say it's hard. bad, but but if I Jack in the Box over, I would put some of their burgers. At least when I used to eat beef, yeah, I would put some of their burgers. Up with any other fast food restaurant burgers. Over no, water burgers? Yeah, y'all. It's, it's, I said up with any other. I'm not yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's I'm what I'm saying. Like, I if I had to go them. quality, I would take water burgers quality over Jack in the Box. So then I wouldn't I would when just it say, came to fries. Water burgers. You know fries what's funny? I immediately actually, get cold. You know what's funny? As, <laughs> a, as of recent, I've actually kicked Chick Fil A out of that list. As of recent, because like, they chick they changed up. So, yeah, well, yeah, they they dropped the third anyway. I don't even really eat that much fast food anymore, except for like chicken places. Like that's the thing for me. So we gotta throw a chicken place in there. McDonald's, McDonald's top chick. Yeah. Like, top let's chick. call it what it is. Golden chick. Yeah, I'm throwing golden chick in there just because it's chicken. They trying to be national. Yeah, and they got don't the, sleep on Popeyes. They got the best marketing. They got the hmm. best marketing. Okay. They, they got the best commercials. Hey, hey, Popeyes do hit. Popeyes stupid. McDonald's. McDonald's. McDonald's crazy. I mean, but that's legendary. Hey, but you see, they I got dropped. McDonald's over Jack. But you see, they drop. They see they they went up in price, and then obviously what happened with the world has happened, and now. But they, they, got a, they got a steady base. Well, I don't so care about them losing no, money. No. I care yeah. about what's going to my tummy. Mm, that part. That too. So, hey, drop or not, drop them fries. <laughs> yeah. Straight <laughs> up. Make sure it's hot. I need them on deck. And, hey, no salt, and then give me a pack of salt. That's, <laughs> hey, hey, that's the hey, hack. Hey, Donald, if you're watching <laughs> this, which you should be, man, make them hash browns 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. So, what's oh going on? Time out, time out, time out, time out. Also, they're too pricey. Make everything I don't even care about the price, man. No, no, no. That's when they died. When they had everything 24 hours, no, when they died. Jack in the Box got everything 24 hours, ain't did. Well, that's because they ain't, they made the right menu. McDonald's, listen, you need to make that hash brown 24 hours. Facts. <laughs> but remember, they, remember that for a little bit, they did have like a 
a breakfast all day menu where you can get at least yeah. like yeah, four be like other s- things. Sausage, uh, burritos. See, right. see, McDonald's trying to rebrand. Like they trying to become like a, a premium. They but just open a coffee uh, thing. It's McCafe, too late. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And they got thing. baked goods and stuff. It's like, too late, bro. Like we see you as the value yeah. brand. Yes, bro. That's, that's it. it. And you gotta stay there. It ain't even that valued. Play your role. I remember a dollar would get you a whole meal, bro. <laughs> yeah. I remember going with grandma, and it would be like, "You get a burger, you get fries. I got a drink. Yeah. We got to share." Man, come on, bro. Yeah. We split it down the middle of four ways. How many people? Yeah, man. Come on. Straight up. I wonder if she was that broke or if she was just penny pinching. Nah, she's both. I'm not saying actually, I go with both. Yeah. B O F E both. Have both of them. Hey man, we are a pop culture podcast. We show up weekly to do that exactly. Talk about pop culture, put some hilarious takes to it. Four black dudes on the couch, and one guy, I guess, of that on a chair. Uh, you know, come on, uh, no son. Diddy, no. <laughs> no you... Come on, son. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, this is. See how I, lo- I walk myself into these things. Anyway, uh, we have it in four different segments. We start off with my new favorite segment, my stuck of the week. It's interesting to see who's gonna be this week. We jump from there straight to you guys because we always want to hear about your stories. The Stucky situations are crazy. Last week, we got a lot of good input. <laughs> you know, and if you're watching, again, we know you're being very vulnerable and sharing your story with us. We highly appreciate it. The world does, too. That you, yeah. People are going to learn from that. Um, but opinions are opinions. So we happen to get in front of a camera and do it. And I know that it takes courage to do that, but it takes y'all courage to send us stuff. So keep sending it in. Go to StuckyPod.com. Submit, submit, submit. Um, we jump from there straight to be with Cooks. He goes out in the world, finds out we're so stuck and stupid that we got to put it on the Truly wheel. Truly humble to God, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the, that's the thing about my second favorite segment right there is that stuck and stupid. And then at the very end, we get really, really vulnerable. We try not to go into too dark of a space, try to keep it positive from time to time, and we do some shadow work with Corey, and then he... Ties up a pretty little bow since it's on our way to get us unstuck. That is the show, guys. An hour, hour and a half. We hope you stick around. I'm curious to see who is the most stuck of the week for you guys. Huh? Routine? Nah, I can't remember just trying to get. She said uh, Alexa turned on the lamp. Now, the lamp in the bedroom is the dead one now. Yeah. That's probably what happened. What you saw anyway. was the AI glitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she don't be listening well. Nah. Uh, man, I don't know. I was thinking, man, who was stuck this week? And I feel like there's a lot of people, but nobody rose to the cream of the crop. But. Yeah. Have to say myself because I'm tired. I'm just <laughs> uh, I feel you on that one, bro. bro yeah. Austin, I'll be mean, Austin, August in uh, higher ed, bro. No, it's that back to school week for everybody, man. The yeah, parents are tired too, you know what I'm saying? We didn't but do that back to school thing. The other week, it gotta be whoever's on that, uh, maybe the judge on in the, in the thank YSL you. Case. I was going there. That was my oh, okay, bro. No, different story. Go ahead. Now, what judge you talking about? No, I got another judge, but you okay. go ahead. I'm yeah. just saying, I think that. I think the YSL case is so much de- this debauchery going on. It's treacherous. It's, it's, to me, a mockery of our courts and our law. And I think whoever is the judge right now is the muff stuck out of the week because they just had old buddy come through with a uh, testimony that was... To my Woody. Woody came through with a testimony Bro, that was singing. out of this world. <laughs> yeah. Singing like a canary. Look, and it crazy. said in the court, uh, uh, you said nothing can be held against me? Uh, no, sir. Going hard. Uh, me and him <laughs> shot up that barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that was what that yo I that was he finna, wild. I thought he was finna admit to all the murder. That was wild. <laughs> he said, while I'm in here, he said, uh, 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 local or federal? Yeah. I'm finna get off all of my crimes. Yeah. So, yeah, smart. Uh, so smart. So smart. It's not that smart. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's super smart. Well, if you if, if, if especially if you got her on record saying it's in admissible. nothing. It's, yeah. In, in okay, this court. No, but in what I'm saying, court. yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, it's yeah, in yeah. this court. Yeah. Like yeah. they can no, no, easily still go asked, after him. He does he not said. have immunity, does he? Yeah, he does. He got forced immunity yeah. and he literally yeah. said What do you mean forced immunity? So you know you can get a uh you can do a deal and get immunity and then they can actually force immunity on you to get you to testify. Oh, okay, okay. He got which is like they never want to do that because because of what, of what he happening. just did. Right. But they did because they think that he was supposed to be the one that was actually supposed to blow Tell the case up. Exactly. I didn't know that he but had he the did the immunity. opposite. I think what we're doing right now is saying free thug. <laughs> free and thug. like I told you, I said, when he said, I felt pressured, Come on. That's, you know. Or they had the secret meeting. There ain't no felt he really did. They had like, the hey, secret did meeting. anybody like force you or pressure you to say this or. Yeah. He was it's spilling the beans. That boy said, I'm a liar. Or am I a liar? I don't even know. Yeah, he said, <laughs> going hard. Literally, yeah, he said, you know, I, we, I lied on Thug. I felt pressured. All that was a lie. Right, is what I'm saying. So it's like, tough. at that point, that's why I say the judge is the mother stuck of the week. Yeah, that's Because tough. at that point, what do you do, bro? This is the- Just call it, bro. Thank Just you. Just call Just it, bro. Just call it, bro. Just call it, bro. We messed up. Yeah. 
This is gonna be the first. This is a uh, this isn't a federal case, right? It's like a, just a local Atlanta case, right? Mm, I, I mean, it's, it's a Rico. A, it's yeah. a Rico of the but state. You can do, I wouldn't say local. I would say like that's, state. when I say local, I mean state. Oh, gotcha. I, I, don't, know he, yeah, I don't know what he. Yeah, because where he, typically when they're doing federal, no, it's a state Rico. It's right. Yeah, hundred percent. And Ricos, I feel like maybe hard to mess up because you get so much. You when it comes to that, you had so much evidence. And they messed this up. Big time. I thought Ricos were only federal, though. No, no you can get no, a... Can get state, I mean, I know you can... Like, the state can join in, but no, I thought no, no, you no, based no, no. in federal. Yeah, no, Racketeering happens in the state, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I know that. I'm just saying, yeah. like, they always keep nah, it as a federal we, I charge. just feel like we always hear about the federal ones. Well, because they those yeah. are ones that close. Yes. Now, this is going to be a gap in that in that stat that everybody loves to use by Rico. Hey, it gets to Rico, it closes. Hey. No, no, because that's federal. And federal's... Yeah, yeah, go for federal's it. Federal's case is 99%. Yeah, go for it. But, but that's because... That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you. Because the federal... Don't be playing. I'll be telling people all the time. They get really the thorough. The feds is going to catch... You're going to get caught in your own trap. Mm-hmm. And they basically going to turn the camera around to you and say, you can take this plea mm-hmm. or we can hang you out to dry. Which one do you want? And it's already here. So it's like, yeah. we don't have to do the work. I'm not trying to pressure you into nothing. You're mm-hmm. already caught, fam. Yeah, so it'll be like, you know what? You hit the so here's where I think it happened. Maybe it's in the budgets, and I could be speaking out of my cheek right now, so please, whatever. But I just see it things from a different perspective. Maybe it's in the budgets, right? Like, at the state level, they got to go with the evidence they got. Right. At the federal level, they're going to continue because they, the, they got more budget. Right. They're going to say, you know what? Let's put, let's, let's put him in a situation right. to make... They're going for bigger fish. Yeah, let's see if he can make the same decision again right now. If I pos- position it a certain way... Then I can bring the Rico. Like, right. listen, I literally have you doing this. And they're this. trying to force it for him to be an organized group, a gang group or whatever. Crazy. Right. Yeah. So, but if a lot of this stuff is not part of the group activity and it's on a single person, then it they're out of there. Yeah, yeah it's done. Remember, really all this stuff that the, he's pointing out, most of it, like a lot, majority of it, mm-hmm. that's stuff, the stuff that they're they saying that, hey, these are the things that make you a gang. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's so, like, no, but I'm the only one that did it. And it's yeah, like, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> when they're just taking, yeah, everybody's just blaming it on themselves and saying, no, that's not part of slime. Or I just did it because I, like, I, I just yeah. did it because I did it. Jeez. I mean, just give him time, sir. Get served, Thug man. out of that's there, bro. Give him time, <laughs> him sir. You be good. give him no time, sir. They go, if Thug go get his money back, yeah. who you got? Who y'all got? I mean. I don't have I, no mother sugar. I'll say for me, I was going to go with the judge, too. So I uh, can't remember his name, but the judge. Uh, the black the one? The Texas judge who solidified the injunction. Today. Oh, I see. Or I wasn't on that today, bro. Yeah. I've been. He solidified the injunction. Um, the the regs. Yeah. The regs. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Bro. We still on that. Oh, oh, no, no. So like, the solidify <laughs> what? <laughs> so the, the injunction was the, like it was in the process, right? So it was frozen while the case was being like worked on. The case was finalized. The judge released that the new regs are unlawful. So yeah. now it has to go all the way up to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court has to either retract their statements or overturn the entire state of Texas, which is going to. Flip some heads. Of course. Dang. Yeah, my judge is... Uh, all uh, judges. Yeah, all like, can, can you, like, say, like, hey, man, this is giving me mental health? Thing? No, he's, he's, he's a state worker. There's a lot going on with he's me. Like, I might need to take yeah. some time <laughs> off. Can't you say that. that. Are you talking about... I'm just saying there's a lot going on. You're literally like, talking to your boss when hey, you say that. Hey, he's hey man, this, man, these rants are just... Making me so tired. I'm getting headaches, man. No, I'm just overthinking say? the regs. And they're gonna, they gonna say, take it over the state. Yeah. They're gonna say, that's tough. You sick leave or you gonna be here? Yeah. Okay, yeah, my judge is a judge. Now, this is a good Turn story. But it, it's me. a weird story. Yeah. It's a oh. weird story. But th- there was a... Tell me you guys heard about this. They're taking a field trip to the courthouse. Okay, I don't know. I don't remember what city this is in, but there's a, kids that are taking this field trip to this courthouse. One of the students on the bus fell asleep on the way to the courthouse. When they get there... He handcuffed? Yeah, they, they got hand, she got handcuffed and to like be taught a lesson... <clears throat> how well, to like? I heard about that. Yeah, how right. to how to behave yeah, 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 when yeah. coming she to see a asleep? judge because she fell asleep on the bus to come to yeah. see the judge. Now, here's where it gets a little sticky. Is the kid black or a minority? Of course, no. The judge is black. Number one. The judge is black. Black man. But the judge was was the judge. Okay. Judge let me, let me, let me, let me, let me yeah. finish. Let me finish. The judge <laughs> is a black man. It was a little black girl. Mm. Here's the worst. What town? They're homeless. Oh, so she's tired because. They don't have no permanent home housing. And the judge doesn't know this and makes this type of decision <laughs> to put handcuffs on this girl to punish her for falling asleep on the way to visit the courthouse where we're supposed to be. He wins. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's top level. What, Just, you, what doing, you doing, bro? bro? Come on, man. Like, like, why would you think that was where's where this at? It has I, to again, be I, some I don't sort of small city. town. Yeah, I know please, not, please come on, verify. Please don't say Texas. Verify. 
Well, I, no matter to where me, it at. sound like, and I'm not hating on Mississippi, Alabama. That's, bro, oh my goodness. <laughs> I, was, in my mind, I was like, man, Mississippi, I guarantee Because why y'all going to a, a courthouse talk. for a, a field, field trip anyway? Field trip anyway, anyway yeah, to see a judge. Right. Yeah. What you got, cuz? Judge has seen handcuffed for... No, 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 no. no. Just, judge has seen handcuffed for falling asleep? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the one? Yeah, that's the one. Which my phone will be faster. Uh, yeah, oh, hey. It's Android it boy. Ain't. I would already got it with Detroit. Detroit. I, I, Detroit. I'm about to say, I was pulling up. <laughs> Detroit. 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 There's another Detroit. one. There's Android another boys. one, but you said it was a black judge, and this is a white judge coming up. Android, my, like, my, my boy pulled right up. Yeah, he, Android, he like family. Android boy. He said, like, I got the look. I put a video. <laughs> he got he got the Detroit. They from the D? That boy look like he, he a reverend. He in Detroit, so too? Cold oh, my in gosh. He can't do that. Not him. Uh-uh. He, like, he fresh oh, out of the look, look, I got him. There you go. I just had to scroll a little bit. Yeah, he, that Five him. minutes later. I thought it was about to be Montgomery <laughs> Brawl. <laughs> yeah. I'll take you. Yeah, I think stuff. he takes the cake from us. He takes the What's cake, his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Please, so we can say it out right there. Here. Put it out there. What's his name? Hold on. Judge. Judge Kenneth King. No. <laughs> King? <laughs> King? Like K-A-N-G? That's a black man right there. K-A-N-G or K-I-N-G? K-K? Stop playing yeah. KK. That boy got the N-I-G-G-A is name. Talking about, is it K-A-N-J? I mean, N-G? K-I-N-G. Oh, oh he, but that's even that's more. Even worse. That's the top. Kenneth that's King. top level black Come name. Come on, right bro. That's Martin Kenneth King. King. Uh, you are. <laughs> the mother stuck up. Of the week. week 100%. Bro. That's tough right there, my boy. Let these people go to sleep. He needs to stop adjudicating. Somebody adjudicate him. Why are you judging? Why don't you judge uh, properly in some <laughs> of these cases against well, I about to say zoning to get him off the street? Yeah, but they, we, we do need to bring that back, though. I thought you were about to say, why you judge? Why don't you judge these nuts? nuts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah, these nuts got to come back. Yeah, it got to come yeah, back. Yeah, that was tough. tough one, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh. These nuts. <laughs> got it. These glizzies. Whoa. Because you said you was the... Uh, glizzy goblin, baby. The, 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 the glizzy goblin. I, I, I like glizzy. No, nah, Will Smith, the glizzy, glizzy goblin, apparently. No, that, that boy, bro, that was... That yeah, boy, <laughs> top tier, great, greatest. Y'all talking like, about? He said Dwayne was standing up, killing him. No, 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 that's top tier. This boy got AI to uh, do his video of him like having a little party, and uh, it was just going through what he was eating, going on stage <laughs> eating, and then it, it, it's one of the funniest videos of all time. Bro, yeah, because he kept going back to get glizzies, bro, <laughs> and then the caption said, "What did he say? Oh, no glizzy left yeah. behind." <laughs> oh my god. But it was so funny because every time he would go on stage, he was like, yep, and I wanted to go back to go get that glizzy. <laughs> and every time... Yeah, yeah. Will Smith. But here's bro, the best I have not seen this video. Listen, here's go the watch best it, part. If you really are a content creator, what I'm about to say makes sense. If not, you're probably like, whatever, this is so corny. The best part is every time the dude went to go present the yeah, glizzy, yeah. It, was it was a different it, glizzy. It, it was a different It was not glizzy, like he yeah. was like presenting the same one. It was literally like he was really coming then, back to And then he them. used AI to narrate it. Like, Come he's on, man. Really That's crazy. Putting, putting everybody on game, but it's yeah. really funny. You know yeah, if we want to talk about Will Smith's redemption... For me, it starts on social media. 100%. Because that that's what we said it on the yeah. show. We were like, killing the only it. way to come back is social yeah, media. Yeah, yeah. yeah, killing it, bro. You said it on here. That killing that it. Just in a glizzy situation. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, early morning night. <laughs> Bro, I was in uh, Hot Springs one time. It was like ten o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. Why was somebody in the alley in like an old Cadillac blazing that song, dog? It was Crazy. dad. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was dad. dad. He snuck away. Bro, man, yeah. he got out. He got an hour, man. Uh-huh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> what? All right. This is this is how we starting off. Hey, this is what they put. So All right. Uh, yeah. So um, yeah. This set up. This is our <laughs> yeah, submission this, is this week set and uh, submitted by Purple Pen. Stop. This is a twenty five to thirty four year old female, of course. black African American, and she's married. Hmm? What's happening right now? Twenty five right. to thirty year old black fe- black African. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Can Jeremy read it in one word moments? I'm, look. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? Yeah, y'all just use. Do you see my live reaction, Sass. okay? <laughs> Open AI, right? Yeah, for real. For real. <laughs> um, so, how do you guys feel about male birth control? Hmm? When I say birth control, I mean either a vasectomy or a pill they take daily. Oh, that's tough. I right. think it should be an option, especially since a man can get multiple women pregnant at once. But there's nothing truly in place to regulate a man's sexual activities. I would disagree with the last statement. Yeah, you're getting wild on that part. Here's here's what you can do to regulate a man's sexual activity. Don't have sex with him. It's right? very simple. Right? And, and obviously, we're not talking about sexual assault. So let's get that off the table. SA. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. SA. No, you can't. 
That's crazy, bro. No, you bro, literally yeah. cannot. It's not, it's the it's not, one not that... crazy. It's, it's... Yes, it is, no, man. That is crazy That's to me. crazy. No, it, it the R wild. word is probably the worst one Thank you can you. say. Like, SA is say... just, re- that. that is the proper way I, to say no, it. No, trust me. I agree with everyone here. Yeah. YouTube, I'm that's saying crazy. That's how they, that's, that's not just YouTube. That's, that's, nah. everyone. that's talk. That's IG. That's all of them. That's crazy. I bleep it out, but I think, you heard it here first? Yeah. Corey's Corner think it's asinine that I can't say that. I'm with you. No, okay. I'm with you too. I'm That's just crazy. telling you what the real. What the, yeah, like, I'm just gracious, telling you what's man. out there. Hey man, give me right. Anyway, sexual high. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the first part is the is the issue. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, okay. So that's what I mean by if we we, we take essay off the table. Um, in talking about this, there is a way to regulate a man's sexual activity. Do not have sex with this person. That's all you have to do. Yeah. And if people get together, and I say people meaning anybody, and as a group say we're not going to have sex with people unless these conditions are met. Whatever your condition may be, if your condition is marriage, if your condition is relationships, if your condition is it has to be Sunday at 7.30 and you have to be sweaty, whatever it may be, you set your own conditions. That is a form of birth control. Now, in, in regards to the vasectomy or the pill, I mean, I think it would be cool I think it could be useful. <laughs> I can talk about it. But <laughs> you asking me personally in general. Did I have sex before marriage? Yes. If I could take it back, would I have? This is a tough, <laughs> this is a tough one for me, but the answer is yes. Mm-hmm. So Regulation right there, buddy. Mm-hmm. We do have regulation. That's my regulation. Because that's my regulation. If, if you believe... You yeah, know, you should know. Then that's the regulation. Number and I'm one, not even no, not hair. even not even for two reasons for me. There's a faith reason for sure, mm-hmm. but I think the other reason is um, there's something that I and I kind of talked about this on Press Next yeah. this week. And you talked about it earlier episode too. Yes, right. There's something about me, there's I wanted to be able to give my wife something that nobody else ever had. Yeah, it's that's tough. Part. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. it's, it's it's those two. So yeah. whether you're that's like, oh, I'm not religious or not. That's the other thing for me. That's my mm-hmm. other regulation is I would have yeah. took that back. So, I mean, Same. for people who are sexually active, though, I think it would be cool. Vasectomy Same. wise, though, people get OD about the vasectomy because it's not as reversible y'all think it is. No. But if there was a pill for 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 men, I think it would be cool. I'll tell you from experience because uh, let's just jump it off. I did go under the knife and get a vasectomy. So, I I, I made the leap. So, I can tell you um, and I'll tell you, hey, I'm going to be honest. No, I'm laughing. Remember when Shaq what? said, I got a vasectomy. No, nah, I can't breathe, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly me. It's exactly me. But I'll tell you, like, I, to this day, I'm not fully, um, like, I'm not fully in support of the, go get a vasectomy, you got to do it. Like, I'm still, I still have my feelings about it. If I'm honest, I did it because I felt like it was necessary for the health of my relationship and our situation that's a little different that's the decision we made i'm just saying from a personal perspective so you know that i still struggle with the decision that i made with that so i feel like i get to talk about this from a very high horse first of all um we talked about the faith part the biblical part we're not going to jump into that too deeply um because i i too made some decisions pre-marriage that i wish i could take back so i can give that to my wife 100 percent. so i agree with you there but first of all I see what you did there, ma'am. And I'm telling you from experience, I know what you did because I, I'm watching you do it. I remember I went through this. Ma'am, did you have birth control? Ma'am, did you get your, get your tubes tied? <laughs> why don't we know? I want to know how you feel about that. Because I think I know why this question's here. Now, she ain't going to admit that? it. I know why it's here. Because they struggle with this in their marriage. They struggle with it. They struggle with it. One in their, side, like in their marriage, the or woman said, gonna do it. Yeah, the woman oh, said, "I don't want to do which it." Which side gonna right. do it? Yeah, like who the, gonna do it? I don't want to do it. Oh, Will you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. boy yeah, we're, we're diving to a deeper. Yes, thing. no, because you ain't fooling me. No, nah, yeah. you ain't fooling me. No, because you ain't fooling me. I <laughs> well, been, I'm how do you feel you. about male birth yeah, control? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you trying to really get answers? We know what it is. Twenty-five to thirty-four, black and married. Yeah, we know what it is, ma'am. I know what's going on. Just ask the question for real. Excuse me. Me and Jeremy are the same thing. I'm on the surface. I'm telling you you from somebody who did it. So ask the question for real. You want to know the question? Well, I mean, in theory, uh, and I mean, deeper or not deeper. Yeah. The answer's still the same? uh, Yeah, like, in theory, both people could do it. 
No, hundred percent. Like, so like you can say birth control. Um, you know, here's here's my take. Number one, how do you feel about male birth control? Yeah, yeah. both of them, hundred percent. Okay, yeah, sure. Like the vasectomy, great. The pill, great. Okay. Yes. They have a gel. Yes. They have like a- um, yes. It is not as reversible as people think. It is more reversible, but it is not as reversible right. as people think. Um, but one hundred percent. Yes, I'm on board with it. But Absolutely. I'm saying, I'm saying we're we're not we're not looking at the obvious here. These are already options. So what are we talking about? What do we feel about? They have a, so they have a pill for men. No, I don't know about uh, the pill part. I'm saying I can go to there's vasectomy, some, vasectomy right now. I can go but get this is also right coming now. from this is this could also be potentially stemming from the lack of autonomy that the government has taken away from women's bodies, right? And so... Mm, that, that's another angle. That goes another deeper dive. Yeah. What I'm saying is ask the question. you want to ask. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the question. The question. Yeah, asking the question. Well, or, how do we feel about we, male birth control? Why are we diving that deep? If the, yeah. if the no, question is, how do you feel? This is how we feel. We feel this way about it. Without having to read in between the lines. Yeah, sure. I'm saying that there's something control. more. Okay, I'll give, I'll give it base level if we want to go there. Okay, you know... Sure. How do I feel about it? I don't really care. It's already an option. <laughs> you know, it's, I already have condoms. I already have a vasectomy option I could take. It's oh, not well, even, I, the we reason why you're going deep because she's asking the question and then she answers it. Yes. How do you, I think. Yes. Like, you know she what I mean? So it's I like you kind of got to like. Op- Listen, yeah. I think it should be an option, especially. Yeah. <laughs> especially yeah. since like, a man Those are all the key words to like. What is going on? Yeah. So, I'm say, so she's asking us what we think right. while yeah, telling yeah, yeah. us no, what she thinks. So the debate, just so we're clear. In those circles of married people who 100%. are having this conversation, and again, we're thinking about the times that we're in. Let's back up a little, a little bit, because our mom and dad, our mom and our mom and dad, probably had this conversation, right? Our grandparents did not have this conversation. No, Their no greats way. did not have this conversation. No, no, no. Why? Because of the environment they were in, it was not inducive for so a conversation. It's relatively new in of the course. population. Yeah, so yeah, of yeah. course, the population is stuck on the fence right now because we don't, we've never had this as a congruent conversation among all of us, right? Mm-hmm. It's finally happening. So that's that's where stemming. The other part is the actual conversation between the two people are, well, babe, I don't understand. Like the doctor's already inside of you in the C-section. The doctor's right there. It's you're not gonna fi- you're not gonna feel anything more than what's happening. Why don't you just it, and it's you know it's happening right there. We're already we're already paying for it because of birth. You know, um, no, it's true. The the a hysterectomy is not. You will get charged more to get a hysterectomy. Uh, uh, no, what I'm saying is it's. Do you want to put go under the knife twice? Oh no! Oh, okay, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you no, saying so like you're already yeah. in there? It's not gonna. And I was she's like, no, like <laughs> well, that's more invasive than what you got. That's do. right. That's right. right. Well, if in that same logic, you can go spend the because mine with with uh, I'm a, this is what I'm saying about how why they feel this way because I'm just being honest. I'm not taking this out here. I told you I'm conflicted. They feel this way because for me it was twenty five bucks with my insurance. Yo, yeah. and they're like, what? It, it, to Jeremy's point, a hysterectomy would have been fifteen hundred plus whatever the the fee of the I'm doctor sure. plus the anesthesiologist and so on and so on and so on and so on, and it was twenty five bucks from your insurance. So the government's pitting each other against each other in this conversation right now. So we have to have this convo. I'm appreciative of you bringing it up, but I'm saying ask the real because I my, see what my, you're trying. My to question say. is like, and this is a real question, so maybe y'all can help me. What's regulated on the women's side if they have a choice on birth control? You mean, what do you talking, mean by what is? I'm just regulated? talking about like no, she's asking about male birth control. I'm just saying like it's a choice to go get birth control. So what what would saying, be the regulation well, on that on that side? But like for like a let's say a woman, right? So like um, if, if we're talking about, I'm saying um, for sexual activities, no, what saying, like what's right, regulated right. on women's side for sexual? Well, you activity? have you actually have true options for birth control when it comes to like hormonal birth control mm-hmm. or an IUD. Mm-hmm. Or you know what I'm saying? So like, and there's not there's I don't really think there's a pill right now, but the only options really are like abstinence and condoms. Well, there's a plan B. Well, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but that's not. Why do you say? I'm just saying like, I'm just saying there's no pills. I'm like, well, there's one pill. No, 100%. but again, but that's not what the man is taking, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. like. That, I think that's what she's saying. And is, also, let's let's be honest. Let's talk about it because we don't hold the baby for nine months. Hundred percent. So they 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 feel slighted because like if yeah, that's, I, I yeah. believe there's a little yeah, yeah there's not. a little difference in it yeah 100%. yeah so they're saying like hey why do we gotta it. have all this regulation when well, we're the one that's gonna have to be holding the baby for nine months any daggone way and then have the baby and all this other stuff and all I gotta do is just be there for the moment and then just be able to it's not fair I think the word regulate is just tripping me out now. yeah that's because the part that's I'm like me. what what yeah. if it's the choice and you get the choice like say if we had male birth control you had women's. It would be a choice for me to take it. It would be a choice for you to take yours. So, yeah. f- so in so theory, I don't know if we regulate the sexual activity. Regulate the sexual activity. I'm, I'm thinking. Well, maybe I'm thinking or going a little bit deeper. Mm-hmm. You're talking about regulating. Regulating would be 
the lack of autonomy that the women have. Right. Okay. Okay. With but what, but, what but I'm saying, like, right what now. more? And again, I know we're gonna throw this wild concept out there that what would happen in the woods if you're walking by yourself, running down the street by you know we, we okay. Let's remove that for a half second, please. Are we going back to the bear versus yeah, the man? I was, I was, I, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, I get, we actually, here's the crazy part. We actually get it. Like, well, actually, that's a good, I understand where you're coming from with it. But moving on. Yes, pa- pause real quick. Yes. You get to that. All of us on this couch feel the same. Yeah. Meaning, we recognize that there's a discrepancy. We're also, if there were options for male birth control, we'll be for it. And we see the argument that you're making. Go ahead. That's all we're saying. But also, there's a deeper conversation here because we're starting to finally have it. And I'm someone who's obviously in the middle of it realizing, oh, there's there's a way deeper conversation that should be had about this. Because stuck in the middle. Literally. So how, yeah. do, how do you get unstuck? I don't know because I'm still stuck. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm still in this space. I, you like, you already kind of leaned on it. Like, at the end of the day, you, if we know you carried a baby for nine months and there should be a certain level you should be at. Yeah. Period. Got yeah, it. That, that's just really yeah. No is. argument there. But you also, do, you do. I mean, if you're trying to get it, you do more of the work. That's right. Then, hey, didn't talk about. Then it. go for it. Talk but about also, it. That's all I'm also, saying. Talk about it. But also, and I know we don't like to talk about this, and maybe we'll move on from this. Cause I know it's gonna get controversial. But it's like this this idea of doing the work after the fact. Well, what about the work in the moment, <laughs> which is controlled always by you? Like in most situations, again, removing the crazy. So don't come at me for the crazy. What about if I was in the woods with my arm up in the right angle and it was <laughs> raining outside? Okay, whatever. I'm talking about the normal, just you are looking at a person that you're completely attracted consensual. to. It yeah. was 100% consensual. Yeah. You were wanting to be intimate. You made a choice. I say, like the man would have to make in that moment, you stay with the choice or you don't. You know, that's just how it goes, right? Hey, you get a little... Hey, you get a little no, I'm just no, I, no. Book. Listen, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. Listen, what I'm saying is like we, we're, we're <laughs> regulating. Like we're talking about regulating after the <laughs> yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, remember? Hey, what, what if the, what if we don't want more babies? So you want to regulate now, our sexual activity after the fact? No, I have a I have a wonderful theory that um, I'm not gonna share in this podcast, but because when I share it, it sounds and it may even really be very misogynistic. But it's not how I feel. It's just a train of thought. It's like a cause and effect, like thought. Mm-hmm. Like, I wonder if because of this, this happens. Mm-hmm. But if I say it, you're going to be like, this man is a massage, he hates women. Yeah, and yeah, that's not what I'm saying. Out, yeah. It's true curiosity. And I'm not saying that it yeah. is what it is. I have a true question, question. So it's not even really, I guess it's a theory, but like. I, I love true. comic rules like that. Yeah. You can just have a little thought and then you right. can talk about the thought but to see like. For sure, the for real, sure. Like, well, how but you can't do that, that yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I can't do that on the net yeah. no, because they go chop something. Yeah. And then they gonna stitch it, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna lose my job for <laughs> something that they didn't yeah, give right. the whole context to. So yeah. not having that conversation. Not everything is for the internet. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to be a. Uh... Well, no. Nah, just to make sure everybody knows I'm not a misogynist. That was a comment <laughs> that came straight from literally saying we can make choices right now. We don't have to necessarily wait for birth control for male for males. It's there. Condoms, yeah, vasectomies, okay. and making good sexual choices in the moment. Like that's actually still a thing. We're just not stuck and stupid. So. Yeah, I we're mean, stuck in stupid. Pretty much. Nah, I ain't gonna explain it no more. We're done. But hey, <laughs> y'all know what suck and stupid is. We know we got new followers. We yeah. got a whole bunch of episodes out here. We 45 deep, baby. Yes, sir. Hey, close episode. to 50. Whoa, we didn't do a number. Oh, we didn't. Oh, four five? Michael Jordan. Oh, that's, oh, that's come it. Come on, bro. You yeah, we're done. No, that's it. Right. Right. <laughs> we're done with that. I should have told you no Yeah, we're done with that. Donovan Mitchell. Elway? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nah, but Mike is done. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty I, much I've been throwing out. I love throwing. I like throwing people off. But this is a mother-loving <laughs> segment where a person plays their thing, finds herself in a stuck and stupid situation, and then we put them on that mother-loving wheel. Corey! <laughs> sp- 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 spin that wheel! <laughs> oh, that boy going to short out that, uh, I know, right? that the microphone. Mic. That oh, yeah, real talk. Like, sp- 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 <laughs> real talk. Oh, get to business. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Adam, come on, cut. Oh, is it stuck and stupid for Adam Sandler to make a happy Gilmore 2? Why would that stuck be stuck? No. It's stuck, stuck no. no, of course no. no. That's amazing. Please, it's a goaded yeah. movie. Yeah. Uh, at least at this point, shout out to Press Next yeah. Podcast. Here's what, okay, I would love to hear your thoughts. And here's why I say no. The reason why is because in an era right now where nostalgia is selling high, he didn't make a happy Gilmore 2 back then. The cast members are still are still alive. They just had like a 20-year reunion of no, the movie. Bob Hope ain't here. 
Well, I'm saying like for the most part, because Shooter McGavin's still up, right? Yeah, and yeah, they yeah. did like a thing on IG where they both called each other out, and mm-hmm. it was like a huge viral moment. I remember that. So there's going to be, and you have the opportunity to bring in a new audience with the old audience to, uh, right. to have Pick a up that old movie and, and golf, right. golf movie. is up right now. Exactly. So yeah. I think if you're going to hit it, strike while the iron's hot, go get your bag and then get on out. And it's not like, th- this is the kind of comedy that we miss, mm-hmm. right? It's like, it feels good. It doesn't feel like it was uh, made in a factory. Like a lot of movies these days feel like they're made in a factory because they're not original stories. They're just going off of somebody else's IP. So like, so when it doesn't work, we can say, well, it was it was this person's IP. It should have worked because it's selling as a toy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Matt what, Damon. Matt Damon explained that how that. So happened, did Vince by the way. Vaughn. Like yeah. it, same thing. It's like they don't. People don't want to get studios. fired. Studios want to protect their their assets and their money, so they're gonna go. But here's the thing, like Borderlands. Borderlands, great game. Mm-hmm. Love Borderlands. Flopped in the movie theaters. Mm-hmm. But because it's Borderlands, people can say, oh, we well, we spent the money and took the risk because it's Borderlands. Mm-hmm. So we can't get fired off of that. But then if you make a movie that nobody knows about and it flops, then it's like, oh, that was a bad idea. Yeah. So I, that's why I don't <clears> think it's stuck <throat> and stupid. But my, my issue is the movie part. I, th- I think when, you know, Happy Gilmore to me would be Adam Sandler's top three. And... If that Ooh. if that's the case for you know for me if no I'm with it I'm with it if that's the case usually when you have something that big I would series it and you're already on Netflix so I wouldn't do the movie part because the, the flopping situation I don't think you can really go in your bag like that I mean it's cool like I again I I'm not following Adam Sandler but I, I feel like there's a little shift in his a down a little b you know what I mean I I don't know. But I know you're on Netflix. What was it? Uncut Gems. I'm, yeah, not, no, but I'm just saying. I, I know. I, I, I ain't really seen no. I ain't really seen no big box office. So I, I'm, I'm just going on. I'm just saying from box office. I ain't seen no big ones. So with that being said, I just, I just seen you on Netflix with a couple, you know, good movies and stuff like that. But um, I just think that if it was me, I would happy uh, Gilmore two series. Go ahead and drop ten episodes. Maybe give us about four seasons. I see where you. Whoa. And then. You know, three or no, four no, no, seasons. No, 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 I see where you're going. That's not a bad idea yeah, at all. Yeah, I know, actually enjoy that. From the from an entertainment standpoint, I enjoy the thought. But the amount of money that goes into shows. Oh, facts. No way. But 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 that's why I said because that's his, that Happy Gilmore to me is one of his bread and butters. Like, that's, yeah. that's your boy. Like, if you're talking about money-wise, like, that's your, that's the one that they playing on Lifetime and, and uh, AMC Happy Gilmore, yeah. Billy every Madison, week. Billy, I'm about to say, Billy Madison, my top. Big Daddy. All time. But, but them three being like the, his... No, See, I don't know. Those, I know. Yeah, those are, but those are his flagship. So, I know uh, Happy Gilmore are flagship what was the for me. Click, click was, but that's tough, not bigger so. than Happy Gilmore. That's what I'm saying. Huh? Yeah. We I mean, say his big three. Yeah, come on, come and he tough. crushed bro, Uncle Lil Nicky. Lil Nicky, that's tough. Oh, also, like Cobbler on Netflix. Yeah, Cobbler's tough. Yeah, Cobbler's tough. Listen, we can keep dropping. Adam Sandler, but that's not bigger than Happy Gilmore. Like, stop. No, no, no. Hey, I can tell you, I Bill Barker in there. All of them in gyms. Which one? I mean, uncut gems. Uncut gems. Uncut like gems, bro. Right, that but, I don't, but that ain't bigger than Happy Gilmore. No, no. Bro. Uncut gems is probably a better film when we talk about his best acting, making I think. a film. Yeah, his best acting. But when we talk about his flagship boy, movies, flagship them three up there. Or what's the, other one? Boy. what's the other one? What's the? Oh my god! Oh, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah. But it ain't shifted. Listen, it ain't shifted. When Happy Gilmore, Water Boy is a top three. I'm ready for my close-up. Listen, it is a top three. When my boy said, when my boy said no, no blockbusters, I was waiting for somebody to drop that Water Boy. Like, boy, we forgot. Water Boy, tough. My bad. We forgot. But no, Water Boy. I would like to see Water Boy as a series. I think that would be tough. That would be hard. Wait, wait, wait. We forgot Mr. Deeds. Mr. Deeds. That's why I just said. I'm ready for my close-up. But that ain't messing with the Water Boy. No, that ain't touching Water Boy. Water Boy's up. There, yes, Waterboy yeah. shit. Waterboy could have had a series. All, matter of fact, you know, you know, I call Water. That's why I love Adam Sandler. By the way, he all all his characters end up becoming their own yeah, the, star. Yeah. Waterboy was no Jeff without. We don't we don't get it, Boardwalk Empire without. No. That's oh yeah, true. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm on that. I'm on Think about two. that. We I mean, he we, put his people on. We don't yeah. get we don't get none of the uh, none of the uh, Deuce Bigelow's. What's the black dude from Happy Gilmore? Though? Whoa, don't don't be acting oh, like did he passed too. Who? Yeah, he passed. He yeah, passed. Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. to him. Yeah, he's talking about, but he was, but he didn't make him. He was. Yeah, he didn't no, make no, him. He was, yeah, yeah, he was on yeah, yeah. Those, Happy Gilmore is different because it was yeah. a bunch of stars that came into right. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every other movie, I feel like it was characters that he made that they ended up yeah. like. Again, we don't have Deuce Bigelow without the movies. We don't have Boardwalk Empire yeah. because, without 100%, the types 100%. Of movies. Waterboy is probably top know. two. Yeah, I, I say two. Billy Madison is my number one because I just quote. I can quote the whole movie. You came top with the water boy. I forgot about that. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that that's, a, that's a big boy. <laughs> but no, that, that's the only reason. Who is better? I, I'm gonna watch it anyway. <laughs> Happy Game more too. I'm watching it. Stop. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm watching. But it. I just don't want him to. I just hate when people like 
I don't want him to go out there and just be don't break a classic. And don't break nothing. Yeah, don't break and a don't classic. Do no numbers. I don't like yeah, that. Don't no, break I, a classic. I, first I'll off, Adam that. Sandler's not a person who doesn't do numbers. Well, first, yeah, I know secondly, he does numbers. Secondly, I'm just, watch this. Here's a, here's a he point. He ain't doing no Will Smith Bad Boys numbers. No, watch that. Here's here's a point. Here's a point. <laughs> really? Here's, he here's why I'll say No, that, let me bro. tell you why he won't, though. I'm about, my point go I'm about ahead, to make is why he won't. Social media? No. Oh. That, too, but <laughs> uh, Adam Sandler don't market. That's social media. That's what I said. No, he just dropped it. But I'm saying, for somebody that don't market, bro, he ain't gonna. Oh, well, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, for you're somebody right. that never that says the there's a movie right. coming right. and you just see a movie right. on Netflix, be like, oh, okay, and you, a billion, whatever the heck streams. Like, that's he, because his people are loyal. That's yeah, what that's I'm right. saying. Right. You're, right. Fans, you're right. You're right. You're right. They all remember Billy right. Madison. And he even grew his movies with his fans. Every time. Yes. We so, remember we started off at Billy Madison High School. Right. We ended up in Click whenever he's trying to get his midlife crisis together. We got Uncut Gems. Now we got Uncut Gems. And and he, got the, he don't get the kids, He got the kid too. movies. And he, got yeah. the, he got the older, like, uh, oh, what's yes. the... Yeah, grown ups, you know Adam, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wild Kong Kings. Chill, chill, bro. Chill, chill. Sandler whoa, got the movie. Yeah, Sandler, first date. Sandler Adam, got chill. We gotta we gotta put him up there as one of the best <laughs> yes, like movie yes. execs. Him or Kevin like Hart. What? Oh, oh Sandler, definitely Adam Sandler. And not even yeah. close. Adam Sandler's bag is big. Just yeah, give Kevin Hart time. I, I gotta no, I gotta Kevin gotta get out the movies, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, me too. I agree. But it's because I love him. Comedies. His comedies he can stay. Yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, and I love Kevin Hart, bro. It's breaking my heart to say this. Oh. The drama ain't for you, bro. <laughs> he is, wow. The drama is not that's for you. You talking, talking about when he does the you talking about when he does that uh that slow, that slow harp in the background, slow violin, and then he slows his voice down. And he says it's, like, "Yo, but um, he he getting the job done though. Like he's taking it to the heights. Like these boys out here scared to do the work, man. No, nah, he can and do the work. The he can do the work, but you know, if he don't got the rock, the movie ain't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right though. If he ain't got no yeah big names, it's trash. You know, and I will. <laughs> I mean, he had a big name in Borderlands, but the rocks. Was Borderlands good? I haven't even seen it, but everybody said it was. It's a K. Yeah, I, I like KF. this conversation. No, nah, it's Kirk Franklin stuck and stupid for saying marriage has been weaponized in Western no. Christianity. I I'm did, stuck in. Somebody's got to give me the the rest of the context because I saw like a I'll bit watch of a clip. all of it. I'm ready. So tell me the. So he's talking context. to Cam Newton. Yes, yeah, so I remember Cam that. Show. Yeah, yeah. Right. Shout out to Cam. Now Newton. prior to prior he's to him saying this, I want y'all to know why he was so vulnerable right here. Because remember. Um, Talking about his mom and all this stuff. Yeah, when he he had just right. dropped that bomb about his mom. Yeah. and how she treated him in a certain moment whenever they're trying to get his sister out of rehab or get his sister into rehab, or something yeah. like that. And so he was already extremely vulnerable before this dropped. And again, the context uh-huh. rolled into just a conversation about marriage, and he started to talk about what's being weaponized in the right. church. Which is again, he was like, I'm already open right now. I'm already wide open talking about my mom and my sister and crackheads and all this other stuff. Why don't, why don't I just keep going? So he just kept going up. He right at that point he was just going off. So to give you context, he was already extremely open and vulnerable right there. And this conversation came up. He what he was saying about marriage was that it's it's being weaponized against telling people that they are not value. Give the, give not the value. example that he gave. Right. So he's I, saying like going like, to a party or something like that. Well, no, he was more so saying like when you go to like your family reunion, yeah, and you're in your 30s and you haven't been married yet, to, to show you that it's been weaponized, the Christian aunties who've been in the church every single Sunday and Wednesday for the last 50 years, their first thing is, hey, yep. why you ain't married yet? Yeah, when you gonna give me some grandkids? Da 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 da. Right. So that's just an example. So he's really he was really taking a moment, in my opinion, again, to stand up for women too in that moment to be Thanks. like, it's okay, you are still valuable, even if 100%. your grandparents and your aunties and everybody trying to make you feel like you're not because you're not married. That woman is still a valuable woman. She may be just as holy as the married like woman. Like God can he can speak through you single. Yeah, like yeah. Like he's pretty much to, saying yeah. stop limiting God through, yeah, through the church's God. demands yeah. of you being married and you're not married yet. That doesn't mean you're a limited, broken being. Right. Well, and I, I don't see nothing wrong with that. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, look, you, you know me. I, if it is introverted or not, one of the most free spirited. I say yes. It has been weaponized. So no, he is not stuck and stupid for making that statement. We all in agreement. Then yeah, shout okay. out to Kirk Franklin. Yeah, go ahead, Kirk. Amount of times I heard that. Sorry, As a matter of fact, if y'all feel differently, TP I want to know. I was younger because I want to <laughs> learn it too. So if there's something out there I feel differently about, let me know. <clears throat> Nah, I just man. don't feel. I don't see how y'all can see something different. <laughs> you know what he was doing, bro. Like he yeah. knew that was a hot topic. Like, yeah. on, Kurt. Is uh yes. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes. Is it it's it's my as for the gymnastics federation, bro? Hold on, pause. <laughs> <laughs> you said Charles. <laughs> you said gymnastics. Yeah. Uh, what was it called? ASI. Hey, uh, that was one of them, yeah. One yeah okay. No, yeah, I, just, I actually used to. I started at a gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so that, 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 he was right here. Right here. There's two things I remember about Jeremy and gymnastics. He taught me two phrases I'll never forget. August Slaughter's? 
Oh, yeah. that, has, that has nothing to do with gymnastics. I know, but it just started when you started doing the business. No. No, 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 the, the Google, Google, can you still do that? Bro, I don't even know my whole life, man. I'm not done. I can't my whole life, man. Try it. No, I'm not done. Try it. It was that one that he used to do to blow the smoke. Remember, I, 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 I did that the other day. He was the first day. guy. Yeah. He was the first one to know how to whistle like this. Y'all remember that? Oh, yeah. Y'all remember oh, that? Oh, yeah, with the, with the finger. Oh, he came back stunting, boy. You don't remember that? Hey, I don't remember that. Hey, hey. No, but listen, it was August Slaughters and it was Tamaguchi. Tamaguchi, Tamagotchi, Yamagotchi. <laughs> Those two, the two. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, gymnastics girl. Nah, yeah, uh, what's that? No, no, that was a move. Pike. No, Tamaguchi was the girl. Yeah. A tuck, yeah. Pike, tuck. Uh, 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 what's the twist? It's just, it's just no, 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 but twist. it was like a it was a certain flip where you do a twist or something like that. Like, and for context, mom used to take all of us to his practices. So we would be sitting there while he was practicing. Watch what I say. She didn't try, bro. She didn't try. My mom was always she on it, the She bought the trampoline. She tried, bro. The trampoline. She tried, bro. She tried. Like, and all we bro. did was wrestle on that. Bro. That boy was Stone uh, Cold Steve Austin every Saturday. competitions, bro. I just remember the way they had to slap their thighs and get started. But I'm sorry, God. I just had I wish you would. I tell you all the time, I wish that uh i wish wholeheartedly one that they would we in our culture and black culture would be more accepting of gymnastics and specifically mm-hmm. men in gymnastics mm-hmm. come on because we would kill that yeah and i wish you would have stayed in it because it was cool oh, yeah. he, it he was, was cool tough. watching you do it, it was tough. I, just, I was hurting bro. But, <laughs> it, it was you and chuck he, he it was in the chuck in there but he got it off and played volleyball it's the same I'm same saying. type no, of no but he actually was in that bag bro that's what yeah, i'm yeah. saying like, he was in the gymnastics like, that was world like, bag yeah i'm telling you yeah you probably wouldn't have bad knees we all had our little yeah. thing that was that was yours that was your thing bro that was yours. Because like he was flipping before on Karen put him in there. That's why oh, she yeah. put him in there. Facts. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you knew about the uh, floor routines and everything else before we knew anything. Before, we were like, yeah. Man, yeah, we, we were making fun of that back in the day. We were that's like, what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. yeah. That's why I think we should be. And of course, in hindsight, is we we grow older, we mature, and we're like, we're not bro, stuck no what? more. We're not stuck no more. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we used no to be more. dumb. Like, why would we make fun of that? First of all, if we know anything, bro, I'll be a gold medalist. We were stuck. Seeing players on my team doing flips and stuff. Yeah. Man, get into that gymnastics gym. Go get us some gold medals. So I think the question was, is it stuck and stupid for the gymnastics federation Federation to strip Jordan Childs, Chile? I don't think no. I mean, I've seen stuck no. You don't, you don't think it's stupid? I think it's very stupid. It is. Well, I mean, because the from what I read, the, the lady was late. No, no she no, wasn't. That's the, they oh, appealed. so they, they lied. So they, they lied. They Allegedly. Appealed. Allegedly. No, yeah, no, they listen, so they this isn't alleged. They lied. And they appealed. And they appealed. So basically, they said she was late with her uh, her protest. Mm-hmm. And USA oh, said, USA came back. They, who so lied? I got video proof. The, 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 the federation. federation. Not, not. Oh. USA came back and said, we got video proofs. I can show you where I protested. Twice before the so minimum. you lie. Yeah. <laughs> then the federation oh, came back and said, "Oh, we don't have a, we don't have a, we don't have a, a, a system set up that would allow you to basically win this oh, protest." Oh my God! So is that what Jordan talked about when she dropped it today? Yeah, yeah. That was her first response since everything happened. Yeah. <sighs> So they definitely stupid. Yeah, they suck Get them up out there. Y'all hating. It must be something and, going on. And yeah, something what's worse is, they what's they worse is they obviously Romania, oh. uh, yeah, <laughs> obviously Romania was, you know, part of like wanting to get their medals back. Yeah, but course. after all the debacle, Romania was just like, look, we can share bronze. No big deal. <laughs> look, look, look. But USA said we, were, no we were willing we're to share sh- at first. No, but now y'all like y'all said You're that fr- we didn't yeah. do it. Yeah. Here's the receipts, and I'm keeping my medal. And then That's they're right. like, no, we're not going to do that. The appeal judge is a like a representative for Romania. So he's not... Cahoots! He, yeah, he's, nah, he's biased. Son. He's biased. Nah, son. You know who, you know who it was? Hmm. Michaela. <laughs> she's behind all this. It's that energy. Uh-huh. Michaela's behind all this. She was making them calls. She was yeah. making them calls. I can't get some on, but I can get somebody else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was Skinner. Uh, right. <laughs> Allegedly. Hey, you, know what? you know what? Since we appealing, Romania, can you appeal them gold medal appeal count? These that nuts. gold medal count? <laughs> <laughs> we got to bring it back, bro. You got to yeah. appeal these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Got it. 
That's crazy. That's what Jordan should have said. Yeah, yeah y'all are pitlies. Uh, somebody lit. said they, she should take her uh, bronze medal to Lake Lanier, throw it to the bottom, and say, "Go get it." Oh, <laughs> crazy. Yeah, because uh, didn't nobody make her a new one? I'm about to say yeah, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, a bronze, bronze, bronze top. Top. So yeah, can we say that fire, pa- Paris overall, from what we've heard, like all the lash outs and all that, people got sick. Yeah, that's probably one of the worst. Olympic places of Get him history? Get there. Not of... Oh. In history? Of history? I don't know. I, like I would have to look back. Oh, okay. So I don't know too much about the history. Yeah, I got to go okay. deeper into... It just uh, wasn't a, good, a great games as far as like the things that we heard and got to see on TikTok and on social media. Though I did enjoy the... The games, as far as the participation, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 the events. That themselves. was the events Why themselves. Why does it always right? feel? You know what I always realize about the Olympics? It always feels like there's a gap between the Olympics communicating with the local uh, businesses. It, I I know what you mean. I yeah, it's like mean. they they, they communicate with the top dogs, assuming like when I say top dogs, I'm talking about hotel, right? Talking right. about um, finance. I'm talking about. But marketing. they're not talking to the. But the, they're not talking the, to like the, the restaurants. Yeah, the restaurants. restaurants they ain't they're to the assuming bakeries. that the hotels are gonna go do all that stuff, and yeah. they're not gonna do any of that. They're just gonna take. They, the they're check. not putting no security in the right nothing, places. Nothing. Just, everything's free. But nothing, you know, like if you're like, I get it too. Just give me a heads up. If I'm a restaurant owner, my head's so deep in 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 oil and payroll. I don't like. That's what I'm about to say. Olympic might not have that bad. Hmm. It might not have a bag. No, I'm going to have that bag if the Olympics... If I know they're coming to my city and I know what, say, how LA, they're coming... LA better step it up. Like, that's I know how LA they're got coming. Yeah. Like, oh, LA, that's going to be... LA no, will be traffic. Fine. No, traffic. You know, if I was USA, but honestly... LA I, is the... is They always go to LA. It's the yeah, most used true. spot in that's the United true. States. So they'll be fine. They, they didn't... Basically, and they pros at this. They have a beach. Minus Oklahoma. Minus Oklahoma. Oh, fact, they're doing... Oh, my God. Yeah, I they're cannot so crazy, wait. Bro. They're doing softball, Oklahoma City. They got... They're also For doing the Olympics? A, yeah, yes. They're also oh. doing a, like a couple water sports in Oklahoma, That's too. That's lit. Hey, I don't give a damn. I know where I will be. That's softball. Oh, my God. I, but we need to, um, as per my job, we got to start writing letters to the Federation right now to get them to shift the dates a little bit because we be having to move in. So I need to, yeah. <laughs> I need to do the shit. Hey, uh, August a is bit. blackout month. Yeah, we can't, we can't get no <laughs> time off. August. The federation gonna give you a quick denial. <laughs> but they bring the softball and baseball back, bro. Like, and it's gonna be in Oklahoma City. I don't have to go to LA. You know what, bro? You know what, bro? Free ray gun. Bring back breakdancing. Okay, go ahead. Facts. <laughs> no, boy, you said bring back breakdancing. Oh, they, they, already, they, already, they, already, they already stopped yeah. it. Yeah. Well, it was they knew that before. No, the but see, this, that, that's just appropriation. They're gonna take hip hop culture and then they're gonna rip it out the first year we get in there. Well, yeah. it was decided it was before, so it wasn't, oh, like, yeah, it wasn't like after. <laughs> the game. I want that one yeah. so bad. We knew it was only this. Uh, is Colin Kaepernick stuck in stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's not no. funny, but it's funny. Yeah, I'm not trying to laugh. I'm not trying. To... It's Colin Kaepernick stuck and stupid for, st- for uh, still trying to get into the NFL. We know oh they goodness. answer this. This one, this one burdens me. It hurts me hard, boy. <laughs> but the answer is yes. Yeah, boy. But now, now, now again, as a player, yeah, but. But the coach thing I coach, thought was cool. I think that's hard. No, that's different. It, you for wanna... something, he can get in there for something. Ambassador. Uh, uh, consultant, you can be in a consultant. Put, throw the consultant on him. Uh, 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 a team's coach. Hell, go be the NFL's diversity. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Any of yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, work bro. for the work for the uh, player association. Anything inside. My, of NFL my thing is, is what, what's the issue? Well, never mind. I'm about to say, what's the issue with him doing the XFL or something? I don't, don't care. What's because thing on his back. It's, it's because. If you were looking at it from Colin Kaepernick's standpoint, that, yeah, that's why, like that's why I said never mind. That's why I said never mind. It's not even necessarily. Yeah, it is it below is beyond him. Beyond below. Yeah. I mean, this, we're talking but the about whole a, point a quarterback is the NFL, who though. led his team to the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's beyond yeah. below. And then he lost his job based off of the NFL. That's how he yeah. feels. Yeah. yeah. No, and then what happened. that's what I'm saying. But look, yeah. hear me out. Whether because people are gonna argue, whatever. I know what happened. I know how he feels. He feels like I did something, and then the NFL has blackballed me. And now in the recent years, they have accepted the types of protests and things and, and, yep. and Worse. material yep. that he would have protested for or stood up for. That's right. So now he's feeling like, damn, if you're doing that now, give me back an opportunity. So if I don't get it back in the NFL. Where else do I get it? It was all for not. I have to yeah. make. I have to make a statement. I have to stand up right here because it's the only latch, le- ledge I can stand on. Now my thing is, bro, just get in there though. Like it ain't got to be a. Qu- I know you want to play and be a quarterback. Like, bro, just get in there. Yeah. Now I'm like, just, yeah, come yeah, on, just man. get in there. Yeah, because I will be even if him. I, I get in, you know, a little as a assistant, a quarterback coach. Mm-hmm. You know, I get in there. We start training. I start throwing some little zingers. One of the quarterback mess up. But get out the way. Let me show you how to do it. Yeah. The coach looking like. We need to put him on. Hey, hold on, bro. <laughs> hey, we need to put him on, bro. I know we got you as a coach. I know what it is, though, because no matter what he's doing, 
on any team that's on the field. That's why I say just get in there. Maybe not on the field yet as a coach. I say get in there. Get into them offices. Why? Because the second you get on that field uh, – hey, let me back up. Office or the field, he's going to bring a media frenzy. 100%. Right? Sad party. I, I feel like they can't even hire him because they, they got some – you know how it's a closed group. Mm-hmm. So we've seen ballers. They That's probably right. got a little conversation. All hey, the man, talk. Uh, 100%. I better yeah. not hire Colin or, you know, we're going to have some issues. All the owners like, talk. come on, man. Yeah, yeah. It's sad, but I, I sad, definitely don't want to see guaranteed. my boys out here shooting a shot like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Yeah. At some point, you got to yeah. tell the, 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 the 40-something rapper who ain't got it, yeah, hey, bro. I would have, if I was him, I would have hit a podcast and I would have had them uh, going talking about the NFL, like ins and outs of it, giving out information. Yeah, and spilling the beans. Maybe they'll hire him just to shut him up. Some people, some people, some people, yeah. whistleblower. Maybe a Collins corner. That's right. Hey. Well, some people, some people though, are truly in love with the thing that they're doing and they can't, they just can't snap out of it. I think he's one of them people. Like, he just loves um, balls. Isaiah so Thomas. Much. I said, I've heard about volleyball, yeah. though. Like, yeah. I don't know what I do. Terrell if I Owens for a long time. But, and, and I get it. You feel, oh. especially, them, I, there's no doubt to me, like Isaiah Thomas, I think he can still hoop in the league. Which I one? think Colin Kaepernick. The, oh, yeah, I'm tripping. I'm I think Colin about. Kaepernick <laughs> can play in the league. If I'm being honest, could, could Terrell Owens give you 17 good snaps? Sure, he could. Yeah, He's a good but, argument for me. Right? Yeah. Sure, he could. Yeah, yeah. But then you're also, you have to think about the business of the yeah, because yeah, is he going to give you forty good practices? No, no, nah, he'll give you so 10. I'm wasting the money. I'm wasting the money. He ain't going to show up to half of it, especially when I come here investing it on somebody who I know is going to be here come years on. later. Come on, and I can develop. I can also let's keep it at that while. I can pay this guy who's younger. I can he's cheaper. Right. And it'll it's a, it's a risk because the second higher, it doesn't work, it's, uh, it's over. And you one, lost money. One drop pass in in the red zone, five yard wide open. One any little. Imagine fumble. the team that brought back Colin Kaepernick, and let's just say the first uh, pass was a pick six. Oh my god! I, I just wish that the 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 third parties like the XFL and them. I wish they had more cash to go get the right. tos because really to me it's just cash. Like like why wouldn't you want to play in the XFL? Now you know what I would like to see him do. Go play flag football in the Olympics. That'd be fire. That would be hard. That would be fire. I forgot that they're doing that. Go that play flag football in the Olympics. That'd be hard. Yeah, that'd be Go nice. be the quarterback. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, put or all like the world on, uh, like, yeah. on football. Not football just, notice. Yeah, and like, here's the other part. We got it. I mean, speaking of NFL. Fly, you fly What's that? on the road oh. to victory. No, yeah, yeah, y'all got to worry about Nick and Jalen. Nah, What's but, up? Yeah, don't worry about that. We got to worry about it. We really got to worry about it. What we really got to worry about is shadow work. Yeah. But hold on before we get there. What he should do. Truthfully, if he's being smart. It, first of all, we should just trust the NFL is what I'm trying to say. At the end of the day, these people look at analytics. They see the players that are actually on the field. We can just say, too, it's maybe. Funny. Yeah, maybe not, though. Maybe. No, I mean, sure. But I'm just from just from me knowing, mm-hmm. especially people who be aging out or getting out early. Yeah. And Cam kind of talks about this, too. There are people who can still play. Like Pat Beverly said. Is that his name, Pat Beverly? Yeah, Pat Beverly. You, there are still there are still people I promise you, who could give you good great minutes in the league, mm-hmm. but the money ain't working how it's supposed to work. Because the they gonna want what they deserve. Exactly, and that's what I'm saying. It's mm-hmm. like at some point, hell, Hassan Reddick's going through it now. We traded Hassan Reddick. That boy went right back, <laughs> and they're not paying him. No, they want him right back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he and now he's requesting a trade, and let's just say he doesn't get traded, mm-hmm. but then they don't want to play him. You get one year of that, maybe even uh, two years of that, Hassan's out the league. And you can't yeah, tell forever. me in two years that Hassan is not a top defensive player Listen, on a, Philly, you know what I'm saying? Him, go get C.D. Lamb. Uh, <laughs> y'all can take C.D. No, no, dude. You're crazy. Yeah, you're, you're, listen, no, we can see You're crazy, bro. Like five no, years I'm not even a, you see this, and he <laughs> wanted a top receiver in the league. You, no, you know, since Dak the best, put it all on Dak. Nah, bro, watch this. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> put it all on Dak. That's, that's going to be it. Now, that's going to lead us into shadow yeah, work. put it all on Dak, then. Because <laughs> you need to ask yourself. So everybody say he the best. Oh, <laughs> Who say he the best? No, nah, I'm just somebody, you know. That's all, that's all them analysts and talking heads. I'm going to put that side by side. This one's a little lighthearted today. All right. What are three ways that you can be kind to yourself today? And because it's a little late tonight, maybe even tomorrow. Give me three ways you can be kind to yourself. Um, I got a good one. Mantras or affirmations or whatever I you want to say call that them. Too. I like doing those. Okay, so affirmations? Um, oh. Sleep. I was about to say sleep. Sleep? That's exactly okay, what I was about affirmations, sleep, what else? The gym. The gym, yeah, working my, out? Sleep, gym. Food. How you eating? What, what do you put in your body? What are you consuming? 
I drink a lot of water. It's Texas, 150 degrees outside. There you uh, go. I would say, um, and I forgot what the terminology is, but like, not just words of affirmation for yourself, but like complimenting someone else gives you that. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. yeah, hold on, hold that's on. That's what I was about to say. Hold on, do what I did today. It was so crazy. Pray. I was just about to say one that. thing. One thing Prayer that's crazy is like we really, really, really underestimate that. I'm talking about. I prayed and immediately got the answer. What kind of prayer are you talking about? Just regular prayer? Any kind of prayer, but so, prayer. So there's, wild, a, there's a specific way you should be praying. We, sure. Maybe we can talk about that some other time, but uh, when you're praying, you be specific. That's why you got what you right. got. When I get. tell you it was 30 seconds, you know, as as content creators, entrepreneurs, business people, whatever, anybody with a dream or a goal, well, let's be honest, you get into the moments where you're like, man, this is hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's difficult. You have that, you're at that crossroads. You're like, should I, should I quit? Should I keep going? And should this I is an everyday thing. Go? At least praying for your food? No, nah, I was praying just every morning. I, I get in front of God and I... I so do you at least pray for your food? Of course. Oh, okay. But I'm just saying, okay, like, sir. I literally <laughs> was in that moment this morning in, in the car, like, but. just petitioning God, like, listen, man, I don't even need a sign. I'm just telling you, uh, thank you for, for putting these things in my life. But I'm also saying, Lord, like, I know this is from you because there's light in this. Uh, even though I'm seeing a lot of darkness in it right now. I, I know this is from you, so continue to put the light on it. I mean, 30 seconds after that, I get a text message that just <laughs> proves what I'm, you know, it's like, I can't I can't say amen and 30 seconds later, ding, yeah. and it's a text. I can't just see past all that, you know? Amen. Amen. Like eagles, y'all. Like <laughs> eagles, y'all. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Not like them eagles. You talking about the... Hey, man. <laughs> Not like them eagles. He ain't say nothing, but the cowboy ain't mentioned in the Bible, but eagles <laughs> are. Eagles are. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> All right, so I hope you do those things. Get you some sleep, eat some food, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, before I even do that. So that's what we're doing, but I have something for for the viewers as well. Mm. For the viewers, this is what I want you to do. I want you to write about one person that you've never forgiven. What did they do to you? And why do you still hold that grudge? Do you want to forgive them someday? But can't bring yourself to it. That's what I want you to, to work on this week. Think about that person you've never forgiven. Why you haven't forgiven them? And do you want to forgive them? Just write that down. Writing is a very powerful tool. Yes. Okay. And if you want to share it with us, you let know us know. Go. Do it on all the Let plans. us know. We on everything. For sure. And well, if I, you and if you need us to reach out to said someone to do that, we might can do that too. That's I, I like where you're going. I, like I, I don't mind going. being we're the, gonna, the we're bridge. You're going to put them in the stuck in <laughs> nah, <laughs> hey, We're going to get right. them out of a stuck in You did it. We're going to help as much as we can. So you go do that. Make sure you write that down. While you're writing it, maybe you're enjoying uh, some tea. Get some sleep. Be well. Come back next week for a better episode. If it's up. It's stuck. stuck.